Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're going to call the meeting uh, to order. Uh, Ms. Whitby, call the yes, roll. Ma yes, ma'am. Ross? Here. White will be absent. Taylor? Here. Robinson? Here. Baxter? Here. Harris? Here. Gann? Here. And Hyde? Here. Present. A quorum is present, ma'am. Thank you. We'll have prayer and pledge by Council Member Maurice Taylor. Please bow your head with me. Father God, thank you for this opportunity to be before the citizens of North Little Rock. Lord, we just want to ask your blessings over all of our decisions tonight. Give us discernment. Give us wisdom. Lord, just help us and guide us through this meeting tonight and all of the decisions that we must make for the citizens of uh, North Little Rock. And we ask these things in your son's Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We need a second. Um, on the minutes, there is actually an amendment that needs to be made. It's on page 11, page 11 under 01984. It was actually read one time at the last meeting, and that was not noted in the minutes. So is your motion, are y'all's motions to accept it with that amendment? Second. <laughs> Go ahead. What? You're looking. You're oh, looking. yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Um, on the motion to accept the minutes as amended, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Uh, yes. Harris? Yes. Gann? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Okay. We have communications up next. Communication one, two, three. Uh, can we get a motion and a second to accept communications, or do y'all want us to pull any of these? So moved. Okay. Separate file. All right. On the motion to accept communications one through three, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Gann? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Okay. We don't have any uh, presentations and um, citizens' comments. We do have um, two. You have two, and both of those gentlemen, um, only if needed. Okay. They're both here in support of that legislation, and um, Mr. Dietz and the applicant both, so they're only if you have questions for them. Okay. Mr. Dietz doesn't have any comments unless you all have questions. No questions. What about Steve Gast? And he is the applicant. Okay. And so he doesn't have any comments. No, ma'am. All right. Uh, moving right along, you all. Ordinances. Uh, we've got unfinished business. Okay, 01977, Mayor Smith. We're going to hold it. Okay, 01984, Mayor Smith. We're going to hold it. Okay, consent agenda items. You have five items, R19, 121 through 125. Okay, can we have a motion and a second for the um, consent items? So was that a motion? Was that a motion? Yes. Sorry. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed, say no. So we don't have any of that. And now if Mr. Dietz will come to the podium, I'll go ahead and swear him in. Uh, Mr. Dietz. Mr. Phillips. He's looking at Mr. Dietz. Oh. Ask a question. 
don't we normally have a communications of notifying us that someone is sitting in for the for the mayor? Don't we normally have that? Um, you normally. Pardon me. Well, but we normally have a communication that that we read at this, don't we? I mean, it's. We do normally have uh, a communication, but this time, you know, we do not. So we're okay. just going to, if it's okay with everybody, we'll just move right along. Is that all right? Is it okay that is me? just fine. <laughs> and okay. next time we'll remember to um, make sure we have a communication. Okay. Thank you. Ms. Whitby, we're ready for Good. new business. New business, R19-126, Mayor Smith. Please call it. Resolution amending resolution number 9568, the 2019 budget to amend uh, the fiscal year 19 budget for flood related expenses other than personnel cost and appropriating funds. Move for adoption. Second. On the motion, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ginn? Yes. And Height? Yes. R19-127, Mayor Smith? Please call it. A resolution certifying the amount of a cleanup lien to be filed with the Pulaski County Tax Collector against certain real property located at 211 West 47th Street in the city of North Little Rock. Move for adoption. Second. We're going to convene for a public hearing uh, for 211 West 47th. Is there anyone here to speak for or against? Okay. Since there's none, public hearing is closed. And the motion to adopt Ross. Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ginn? Yes. And Hype? Yes. R19-128, Mayor Smith? Please call A it. resolution certifying the amount of a cleanup lien to be filed with the Pulaski County Tax Collector against certain real property located at 2200 East Washington Avenue in the city of North Little Rock. Okay. We're going to convene a public hearing for 2200 East Washington Avenue. Is there anyone here to speak for or against 2200 East Washington? Since there are none, the public hearing is closed. On the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ginn? Yes. And Height? Yes. R19-129, Mayor Smith? Please call it. A resolution certifying amounts... Approving and certifying amounts of liens to be filed with Pulaski County Tax Collector against certain real properties in the city of North Little Rock as a result of grass cutting expenses and abatement of other nuisances. We're going to convene a public hearing uh, on R19129. Public hearing for R19129 regarding uh, grass cuttings. Anyone here to speak for it? Speak against it. Any comments? There are none, therefore the public hearing is closed. And the motion to adopt Ross? Yes. Taylor? Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ginn? Yes. And Height? Yes. Ordinances 01985, Mayor Smith? Please call it. An ordinance amending ordinance number 7697, the zoning ordinance, by updating Article 19, Boards, first reading. We've just been reading the on the motion to suspend the readings, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Ginn? Yes. And Height? Yes. Motion to adopt. So moved. I'm sorry, <laughs> Debbie. A question I mean, on this, and I know this is one question wrong. that I had for the city attorney to make sure that, you know, on the hillside cut there's different, uh, you know, ordinances that we have to make sure that it does, we don't have an unintended consequence on any of this, and so I think she can okay. explain it for me. Okay, um, I can, and I reviewed the um, hillside ordinance, and um, it was passed in 2013, and you were the sponsor of it, and um, it amended not only the zoning code, but a, a couple of other ordinances, and so I pulled it out and reviewed the whole thing, and the other sections of the um, municipal code that it went with, and there's nothing in this ordinance that is going to allow the Board of Adjustment um, to be able to consider the um, hillside cuts as an appeal. And also, you all, to explain on this, when we were just the ordinance in general, 
Um, when we were at the last meeting, you all passed an ordinance that I had drafted to revise um, Article 19 um, for the Board of Adjustment and the Sign Board. And um, after the meeting, the next couple of days later, um, Mr. Spencer came to me and pointed out that I had left out about two pages of what we were supposed to put in the um, revisions to Article 19. And it was an oversight, and I don't know how it happened except to say that I apologize, but everything that you see in blue is what was supposed to be in there at our last meeting. And so this just clears it up so that we actually have a complete section for the Board of Adjustment and what they do. Thank you. Second. Okay, on the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Gann? Yes. And Hype? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Gann? Yes. And Hype? Yes. 01986, Mayor Smith. Please call it. An ordinance waiving formal bidding requirements and authorizing payment to Rain for Rent, Arkansas, for the removal of floodwaters. First reading. Move to suspend the readings. On the motion to suspend the Do reading. Do we have a second? Okay. Do we have a second? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hype? Yes. Move for adoption. On the motion to adopt, okay, Ross? Okay. Yes. A question. Stephanie, are you monitoring, do you monitor this fund? You don't? Yes, do have we received these dollars yet or are they on the way? The five hundred thousand dollars in the fund to pay this. Just just Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 So the money's there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, on the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. The emergency, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. O 1987, Mayor Smith? Please call it. An ordinance waiving formal bidding requirements and authorizing payment to Foundation Repair of Arkansas LLC for the purchase of wall stabilization services. First reading. Move to suspend the reading. Second. On the motion to suspend the readings, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Height? Yes. Move for adoption. Second. On the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hype? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hype? Yes. O 1988, Mayor Smith? Please call it. An ordinance waiving formal bidding requirements and authorizing payment to Jeffrey Sand Company for the purchase of sand for sandbags. First reading. Move to suspend the readings. On the motion to suspend the readings, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Move for, for adoption. Second. On the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. O nineteen eighty nine. Mayor Smith. Please call it. An ordinance waiving formal bidding requirements and authorizing payment to Xylem Dewatering Solutions, Inc. for the removal of floodwaters. First reading. We'll just the reading. Second. On, on the motion to suspend the readings, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hyde? Yes. Move for adoption. Second. On the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hype? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And Hype? Yes. O 1990, Councilmember Baxter? 
I'm going to hold that, please. Okay. Oh, 1991, Mayor Smith. We're going to have to have a um, public hearing on 0-1991. Okay. So I'll do go want to call it. it first? Okay. Um, an ordinance granting a conditional use to allow a school in a C3 zone for property located at 801 West 29th Street in the city of North Little Rock. First reading. Okay. We're going to have a public hearing on 0 1991 Public hearing is convened. No one here to speak for or any comments on 0 1991 We close the public hearing. Oh, I'm sorry. A charter school. I the believe. applicants are here. If you would like for them to you come up. You want the there. applicant to come to the mic? Well, this is this is the school that was going to originally. Well, we talked about last council meeting that was going to be across from North Little Rock. And that, that location didn't work out, so it's just it's changing locations. Okay. Well, I want to know if there are kids. And how, how what age they are in that location. Applicant, come to the mic. Hi, my name is Steve Gast, Superintendent for Responsive Education, Arkansas. Uh, it is a high school campus, uh, high school students, grades 9 through 12, and as we stated last time, it is, it is primarily, primarily a credit recovery and dropout recovery school to try and catch the kids that have not made it in the public schools that are uh, not in education right now to give them a second chance to get their diploma so that we can uh, become productive citizens here in North Little Rock. That's perfect. I was concerned because it was concrete behind it, and I thought if these are little kids, they're going to need, you know, a place to play. Right, and, and 90, probably 95 to 99 percent of our students actually ride the public transportation, and we provide them with bus passes for them to attend, so there's very, very little traffic and very few of any of our students actually drive vehicles. That's just fine. Thank you. Sure. Where are we, Miss Whitby? Um, have I closed the public hearing? I did close the public hearing. Okay. I second what he tried to do. Did Council Member uh, Ross, Mr. Gas, you come back? Because that's kind of conflicting the information you just gave about riding the public transportation. Because I yes. would. I was under the impression that most of them would be dropped off or picked up. Well, that's true, too. It is an option for them to do that. Um, but they do, my point being that not a lot of our students drive, which would, wouldn't increase the amount of transportation or traffic in that particular area. Because, you know, one of the concerns in the neighborhood was, you know, the public transportation, because there's not a bus stop right there. And I didn't know that if y'all had, uh, you've been working with Rock Region Metro as far as placing a bus stop there. Because one of the concerns is, you know, we're talking about ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders right. just being let out of school and being let, you know, in the neighborhood, no place to go, basically, right. is what it is. And, you know, several businesses around there, that they, there were some concerns. Right. And there is a public, there are actually two public stops that are within about 100 or 100 feet of that front door of that building. Okay. And so we did check on that. So, yeah, I, I failed to mention that we do have some students, obviously, that are picked up and dropped off as well. Okay. Because they were, you know, and then there sure. was also the concern about, you know, any traffic, you know, right. as far as pickup. And as I understand this, is this correct that the uh, this juniors and seniors they only go to school until noon? Is that correct? They can. There's options. There there are two four-hour sessions that take place during the school. They can go in the morning, they can go in the afternoon, or they can actually attend both sessions if they want to try and accelerate their progress to to graduate quicker. But um, so it's, it's generally split out or can be split out. Many of them choose to go in the morning because they work in the afternoon or they have family obligations or those types of things. Right. Okay. But then the, the freshman and the sophomore, do they normally uh, go the full eight hours? They That's normally go the, the full eight hours. Two sessions yeah. then. And how many are you looking at right now? The first year, we're looking at maybe 50 to 75 students. Uh, the second year, uh, as we develop our partnerships with North Little Rock Public Schools and start working on that, we, we hope to increase that enrollment to uh, our anticipations that the school will be somewhere between 100 and 115 kids at maximum capacity. Okay, but you are approved up to 250. We are approved up to 250. There, there, we have uh, about 48 schools in our entire system, and, and none of the premier high schools 
are actually that big. It does give us the opportunity to, if we wanted to open up a satellite campus farther north uh, to pick up some more students that might live up in that direction, that we could do that, and then it would fall under the cap. We wouldn't have to go back to the state uh, to ask for an enrollment increase. Okay. But as far as the students leaving, I mean, the campus, I mean, is there someone there that so that they're just not turned loose into the neighborhood? Oh, yeah. This I mean, is what it is. That's yes. what I'm looking at. I don't. We yes, we increase traffic in the neighborhood. Yes, we, we have staff. Unsupervised increased no, traffic. No, we, we supervise our kids all the time. We, we actually have a resource officer who's also on campus um, full time, and uh, our staff monitors that as well. Okay, because, you know, as far as the police, as far as the yeah. truancy, in, in, I didn't know if they Yeah, we're not interested in letting any of our, camp, our kids just go out and roam somewhere. Okay, all right, because yeah. the police, that would be a hard time for them knowing who was true sure. and who was not. So. Understood, yeah, good question. Thank you. I'll just stay here if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> you can. The reading. Okay, on the motion to suspend the readings, Ross. Yes, but I do want to say that I do not have any conflict of interest. I mean, we did own that building, but it's been 12 years ago, and some people think that we still own the building, but it's been 12 years that we do not own the building, so there's no conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. So yes. Taylor. Where yes. Can Robin. I say Excuse me. Can I say something? Do I wait till I come around? It's been vacant for four years. Twelve years. Well, that's Norman Clifton said four, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, he was ready to get it. That's fine. Sorry. Um, Robinson. Yes. Baxter. Yes. Harris. Yes. Again. Yes. In height. Yes. Need a motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Second. On the motion to adopt, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. Height? Yes. On the emergency, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Again? Yes. And height? Okay. Yes. Concludes new business. Okay. Uh, we don't have any uh, public comments. Uh, any council member have uh, comments? I just wonder if Chief Davis could give it, kind of give us a, I know I'm throwing you on the spot, I should have been, sorry. As far as the fireworks, you know, I've got quite a few complaints, actually not as many this year because I think people just kind of resign themselves to that fact, but I'm just curious as, how did that go? <clears throat> Until the county decides to do something about fireworks, we're going to continue to have the same problems that we have every year. If you go anywhere in North Rock or outside the city limits, buy fireworks, you get in your vehicle, and you leave the parking lot, you're in the city limits of, our, of North Little Rock. Okay, so that's a problem. Uh, the fireworks are larger than they've ever been. They're, they're louder, and they're going to continue to be louder and get stronger every year. And that's, that's going to happen. The number of calls that we had, we had 209 calls uh, from July 1st through July 5th. Um, and last year we had 210 calls. So the call count stayed the same. The only difference was on 4th of July there was about 30 more calls than there was the year before. The calls last year started a little earlier. There was 25 on July the 2nd, 16 on the 3rd, and then 107 on the 4th. So uh, they're loud. And they're a problem, but I understand. I know that y'all do the best you can because every once in a while, I'll flip the scanner. We, you know, we have extra patrols that are out working, just dealing with that in itself, and, and that's all they're doing is answering those calls. But it's still, whenever we pull up, they they go around the corner and, and or they run, and uh, then they come back a few minutes later and start doing it again. Okay. Chief, before you leave, one question. Um, uh, if an entity, uh, a business, uh, a group wants to have a special event and shoot some fireworks, what is the procedure for applying for that? Uh, it'd be like the Arkansas Travelers. If they have an event, they go through the state fire marshal and they get a permit. Uh, the fire chief signs off on it. I sign off on it saying that the plan that they have set up for safety uh, is one that's adequate. Okay, and weather conditions are good, not dry. And yeah, there's a lot of things that go into play on before so that's it's, allowed. It's, it's not your office, it's the fire marshal. For those special uh, events like the travelers, but they do ask me if I'm okay with 
the location, the traffic plan, things like that. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking of a business entity or something like that. You know, yes. I don't know, you know, They'd have to go through the state fire marshal. Make sure the neighbors are in there know about it or something. Yes. Can I have my two cents worth this? Yes, sir. I, I, I go to the fabric every time they win, they shoot off the street fireworks. So evidently, the application or the permit that they have extends through the whole season for, for I guess. Uh, they actually, have it. Pardon me? I, Actually, I don't think that it does because I get those that have already been looked at and, and approved by the fire marshal, and then I have to sign off on them as well. Yeah, I know. So I think there's like six or seven I, of them that they do. But I think, I, in my 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 in my opinion is I think one of the one of the problems that we have in North Little Rock that they possibly have in other cities is they hear somebody shooting fireworks off the Main Street Bridge or off, or behind Dickie Stevens Park, and they think, well. Somebody's shooting them, it must be okay to do it. We'll just light up our bottle rockets and fire them there, off, too. There's a lot happens. of calls that come in from the Lakewood when they had their event up there, and yeah. Dickie Stevens when they have theirs as well. But trust me, on July 4th, it, it was everywhere and, and yeah. a problem. Yes. I, just one thing, another thing I wanted to add, too. Uh, I, did, I was watching one of the news stations. I don't even know what it was, but they were interviewing someone at the fireworks at a fireworks stand and at the bottom it says North Little Rock which indicated that you could purchase fireworks in North Little Rock they didn't make the determination that that was outside of the city limits though and so that was really deceiving there and I think that you know sometimes like you said we're just one step away from the fireworks stand in the when county. they pull off the parking lot they're in the city limits in North right. Little Rock my question I have one question and then we'll dismiss uh, to Miss Whitby I know that there is normally a, a fireworks stand on Highway 161, which a portion of that is in the city limits. Do they get a business license from us to operate? They cannot get a license. They cannot get a license from us? If they're in the North Little Rock city limits, they cannot get a zoning certificate or a license from us. Actually, the one on 161 is not in the city limits. It's across the street. That is that little section right there. So that's what I'm saying. They, they, it's surrounded by the city. They pull off the parking lot, and they're in the city limits. Okay. And uh, so if we wanted to get really crazy, we could do a lot of things with that, but I don't think that would go very well. Okay. All right. I need a motion and a second. Second. On the motion to adjourn, Ross? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Robinson? Yes. Baxter? Yes. Harris? Yes. Gann? Yes. And Hyde? Yes.